Hello, my name is Dude Love Nine, and I am here, back at it again with another video. This time, we're gonna do, or me and my cohort here, you can't see him yet, but we're gonna do the most annoying move from every character in Smash Brothers. Starting from number one to number 89, we got quite the list here to go through. So they may be, they may, some of them, they have multiple because characters are lame. So we're gonna get started with them. Number one, Mario. It's about Mario. So what's broken about Mario? You said it's back air? Uh, yeah, it's back air. Um, you can do two and one short hop, which is great. <laughs> two and one short hop, safe, crosses up, leads into grabs, leads into everything. He has into tech chases. But out of all three of his broken aerials, up air, and air, back air, I'd have to say back air is probably his most broken. You're right. Back air is back air's annoying. <laughs> Only because, man, everybody just, well, I, I would have said grab. But like, but everybody has like a, a lot of everybody, characters. With everybody has good a grab. Everybody has a grab. Yeah. But if this is back air, then it's only because that freaking thing hits. Uh, like that's the the one move they they do. They just <laughs> that or up air. You know, they could just do that and just. What about down air? Uh, down air. You can kill with it. You can, but it's, it's not worse than back back air. All his aerials are actually stuff except for uh, Fair. All his aerials are really good except for Fair. Well, it's just it's only annoying because he's quick. So yeah. So. If he wasn't so quick, that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Hey, Donkey Kong. Um, we already know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking the uh the down B, the back air. I would say back air. Back air is what it's oh great. yeah. Get Why is he able in. to do two backers and two one short hop, man? Off. It's the um, same thing safe. with Mario. It's safe on shield. Um, it's just, I don't know why they would give that kind of frame data to a heavy, the heavy character. Because most of his moves are great. He has down, he has range, but back air leads into like pretty much everything. Back air, you can't say grab because... No, we're, we're avoiding grabs. We're avoiding grabs. Because he's a grappler. Yeah. Even though but he's got stuff. I but say, it's back air and up B on the ground. Yeah, up B on the ground. That crap... <laughs> Kills you because then they and it it goes through stuff. Yeah, it's a multi hit. First, I mean we get it. It's punishable, but <laughs> man, if you have the ledge and you're trying to <laughs> establish pressure, they yeah. just yeah. and then you die. And then on top of that, they go out there. If you don't, they go out with back here. Yeah, and that's they can do like five. They can do like you know like four or five <laughs> off stage. And they can do two, one shot, uh, and then two, another jump. Nobody that big should be able to move <laughs> like that. Yeah. It's freaking annoying. So Donkey Kong. Definitely has to be back here. Back here has to be. His and an honorable mention is down B because he freaking covers a lot of space. And, and spikes. And, and his spikes. spikes. He has four spikes. Has four spikes. Has four spikes. Side B is the least like, uh, potent one, but yeah. down. Down B in the air, if you get the single hit, leads the combos. Then yeah. you do it on the ground, it breaks your shield, area leads you up into the air. Like so, yeah, you know what? No honor mention. Yeah. Back air, back up air. B on the ground, back and D, and down B. Back air. For Link, for that Link, has to be Nair. Nair, 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 Nair. Nair is like frame oh. like four or five. It comes out hella fast. It's super like it's safe. It's negative two on block or on shield, and it's just it prioritizes everything. It beats swords. I saw it collide. I saw it beat Palutena's shield one day, and that thing is invincible. <laughs> so I don't know how that works. But for like, for for like Link to have, like all oh, Link doesn't have that, but that good of frame data. His back is all right. His fair is okay. His up air is slow. Down air is slow. Stuff is slow. But then there. Is the one move that he uses to box with people who can't, you know, <laughs> who can't really do anything about it because they just spam that. That's just spam that. that. That's just Link. Link is just Nair and Boomerang. There that's, you go. That's it. That's the one move that do, that they move, they do the most, and it goes through everything, and it lasts a long time. Yeah, lasts a long like time. they'll do Nair, it'll stay out for like four seconds, and then the hitbox is still active. Mm -hmm. 
So it <laughs> it stops recoveries. It stops people from trying to jump in. It stops people from approaching. And then on top of that, he's a zoner. I hate Link, bro. That, that move needs to go. I really wish he could be as bad as 64. Because yeah. he doesn't <laughs> deserve to live. Okay, Samus. Dark Samus counts too. But Samus, I will say... Man. Tarsam? Well, not really. Charge shot isn't annoying. It's just scary when you're about to I would die. Say, I would say down B. Down B is a really good. Move. Which one is that? That's the. That's little, the one where she bloop. And she puts the missile, <laughs> the little ball right under her. Well, she could. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> uh oh. So down B. No. Oh, okay. Well then, for down B for you, I'm saying I'm gonna say fair because you can like it's hard to recover. When I mean, you can just cover space, yeah. and, <laughs> and then the grab is long range, so down through. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I probably say charge shot. Charge shot does a lot of damage, kills pretty early. Um, it's just like, it's, it's, if she has it charged up, it's a mind game. So like, when's she gonna shoot it? When's she gonna <laughs> not shoot it? She doesn't have to charge it all the way it's up. It's safe. So like, when she does it in front of you, you can't do anything. She's gonna get, gonna get grabbed. So I definitely have to take the charge shot. Oh yeah, because it makes you want to shield. Yeah, because and then you're conditioned to shield, and now you get grabbed because you get grabbed you know, from like a mile away. So I have to take charge shot. Charge, so, okay, charge yeah. shot, and then fair. Uh, for the most part, yeah. Oh, where do we start with Yoshi? <laughs> <laughs> where, it, where do I begin? Where like, do Yoshi as a whole... Oh, my God. His shield can't shield poke. Down there. Multi-hit sends upwards and kills. Uh, the jump has armor on it, so you can't edge guard. Um, the the neutral B, the little second cut. People use it at the ledge, so you can't ledge guard. Like, freaking down B goes through platform, so... And they also use it just to run up to you because you shield. I'm pretty sure the double jump armor alone is enough to like just be broken as is because you're they're basically getting awarded for uh, jumping and disadvantage because why would you jump over the ledge? That's punishable. So I can understand why it's a broken move. Don't, 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 don't go on and shut your mouth. And Yoshi Nair, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yoshi Nair, it's not as bad as Link. Uh, I definitely say no Yoshi Nair. Great out of shield option. Fast. Very fast. I would probably say down air. That move destroys shields and it does yeah. a lot of damage. It I would say down air. Yes. Yeah. That, there's so many moves. Yoshi as a whole character just. His, there's this like nothing. There's nothing on Yoshi that's positive. Yeah. I hate him. So Kirby, Kirby has the same issue with Yoshi with the down air, but they do it, but you use it off stage and on top of that with the floating, you can just keep doing it and you can't recover, especially with linear recoveries, look, recoveries like Cloud, uh, I don't know, who else has a linear recovery? Um, um, Shoto's, Shoto's, Mario. Captain Falcon, like, just broken edge guard. All you need to do is that. Hits way too hard for a small person. <laughs> uh, uh, like, can duck and, what's the word I'm looking for? Just um, low profile? Low profile everything. Projectiles, uh, dash attacks, depending on who it is. Just whole moves. Um, you know, Nair as well, Suck and Cuck, Neutral B, because um, they take you off stage and then they just float down, fair, back air, down tilt. Like, what's up with this character, bro? I probably down air, um, down tilt trips like all the time. And it goes, she's through low, so like, Kirby's just span that move and they and you trip and they get down throw into fair to re grab. Into yeah, and the grab and the fair and and then dash tech kills. Or some, I don't know why. Hit the kill throw, up throw, kills. Right. Why does this character hit so hard and able to kill you when 
it's like the second, maybe the third lightest in the game. Yeah. It makes no sense whatsoever. Character is broken, and people don't believe me. <laughs> but when they get when their favorite character, when their favorite player gets down there, they're like, "Oh my god!" Like remember when uh, uh, what's his name, the Komoda, the ally, oh, is Mario? <laughs> he can die at like seventy some percent up smash. Get out. Of here. Okay, Fox. Fox up smash. Fox up smash because he get it's so fast. He can do it anywhere, and it confirms out of there, down, down there. I'd say I'll smash in there. No dash attack, dash attack near, I'll smash. It's basically, Fox three moves. Um, Nair is crazy. Leads into I'll smash. Lasts very long. Safe on block. Very safe. Um, spammable. Like you could just run up in there, and then pick what the what the. I guess like the Fox. Thing is like they like to nair and then jab right after because they're like a fame two jab and they're gonna catch you trying to grab them or do something out of shield so they just jab right after they nair and you everybody gets hit by it so I'll probably see nair or up smash and you can't land it's hard to land because you do up air and then double jump or empty hop up air again and then they'll catch you with an up smash <laughs> and it's like if you're heavy good luck um, if you have no projectiles, good luck. If you're slow, good luck. Like you, But two good thing, nobody uses that character except top players. Nobody's using Fox, but still. Pikachu, let me count the ways. <laughs> Thunder Jolt. Um, T Jolt. Up B. Up B. Um, this back every, air. Every move Pikachu has. <laughs> every one of back air. Pikachu doesn't have a bad move. Fair is safe. Down smash at the ledge. Low it profiles. hits under the stage. Um, down B. Getting oh. up throw. Getting up throw. Down B. You die at like sixty. Um, it's drag down. Like why? Come back right down. Right down. Um, what else? Who's Same like, thing for Pikachu. So we don't need to. What else is really broken about? Uh, back air. Like yeah, multiple multiple you know, hit combos yeah. into itself up there up there and most um, and most of Pikachu's attacks make them like pancake so like you can't even hit them right after but I'd probably say like broken move probably either um, back air or T jolt T jolt if you full hop it you can if you full hop from T jolt you can basically just like you can't have no lag like you could just keep doing it and at least to a grab. So, one of the best projectiles in the game, spammable. Just you full can, hop it. You, this, you, what are you supposed to do? You get hit, you get grabbed. You do, you should, you get grabbed. You run away, you get grabbed. Try to parry it. It's not enough time, you know, to do anything. Yeah. So they'll grab. They'll throw multiple ones out. Yep. He's quick. Okay. So, Luigi. Luigi and... I'm gonna say his down B. Down B. It's invincible. They yeah. just spam it when they're they're, any, where they're any, any move. Any anytime situation. you touch them, they <laughs> spam it. Yep. it's um, unfair. Invincible frame one invincibility. It kills very early. Used to gimp with Smash 4, but do anymore. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> if you match fast enough, they're not coming back. Um, but definitely down B. It kills super early. It gets them out of any situation that you know, they don't want to be in. They can just spam it. What are they going to do? Well, yeah. you can't do anything really about it. No, you can't. Oh. Ness. Ness. <laughs> uh, Jesus, it's freaking PK fire. Well, that's over like, t Over yeah. the board yeah. PK fire, but... Like if someone really knows how to use Ness, it's the yo-yo. Uh, it's the yo-yo. Yo-yo at ledge. The yo-yo, yeah, yo -yo and then ledge. they use the little side magnet, whatever. Mm -hmm. The the little orb around them. Oh, down B. Down B and some combos. Down back yeah, air. Down B and the, that. So yeah, the yo-yo and, and the down B are the two most annoying things about Ness. I hate that character because it's the first off the down B gives a movement that you just can't see coming it has a 
hitbox around it, and then it leads the back air. So, and it's B reversal, B reversible. So it's it's edge guarding. And then once they get you at the at the ledge, they're just gonna throw that yo-yo <laughs> out there, and you can't recover. And it hits, hits you, gimps you, or it's gonna kill you no matter what. Yeah, it has to be yo-yo or down B or PK fire. I would touch the yo-yo. Yo-yo at ledge is so. Easy to do it and like in and two it, frames, and it, it's whole, a, and it goes over it the goes ledge. over the ledge, so it's a free two frame and like it's a big scrub killer if you don't know how to deal with it, you're just gonna die. Yeah, it, I think it gives every recovery unless you have a disjoint that can hit them like far away, Lucina, like, Mark. like Lucina, Shulk. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta recover sideways, and that makes it easier for you to be red. Ness is a is a is a cancer. What can, what can you do? What can you do? You know, and then you get a nest mirror. Oh shoot! Forget that's, about that's it. That's when everyone leaves. Captain Falcon. <laughs> Running. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna bend the rules just for a brief moment, but running down throw is very stupid. Cause it's all he does <laughs> is every move, every falcon you see, every falcon, including this <laughs> one, will run at you, grab you, frame one, and just go to combos. Because that's <laughs> all. That's that's literally the epitome of Captain Falcon is his down throw. They don't do any other throw except down. Even if it kills, even if he has a kill throw. They still do down throw just to get a back air, or to do up air, up air knee, down, read it, read the spot dodge down air like it's down throw. And other than that, if I didn't have to choose a throw, Nair. Nair is a terrible move. What are you Nair talking is about? Not, terrible. Nair. Stop. Don't listen to him. It, ki it kills off the side, and you do it every day. Nair is a crazy. That's called edge guarding. No. That's called edge guarding. No, no, no. Nair is a terrible move. All right. It is sometimes it doesn't connect at all. Why do you do it? Because I can. See. Okay. What, what's the what's the terrible move then? Terrible move. I mean, what's an annoying? What's the annoying move? Probably that he doesn't have an annoying move. Is he not? Because he's ridiculous. That's why he doesn't have an annoying move. Down B. Move. Oh ah. no no no! Up B command grab. Okay. Yeah. yeah yes. Up B command grab. You gotta sit there and hope it doesn't hit because it's gonna kill you at no matter what the percent is and you and, and you can't block it. You gotta just take it. And they do it at the most crucial points randomly and you can't punish it most of the time because they like to move there, the control uh, the control stick back and forth so you can miss. <laughs> I hate Captain Falcon. Up up B and down through. You guys aren't right for this. Okay, so we already know. Side, side B. Pound? Side, pound is great. Pound is crazy. Crazy on shield. Combos into rest. Combos into everything. So pound. And back here. And back here. Pound and back here is literally it. I don't care about rest. Well, rest I don't is, care about down air. Rest is only good because it kills you early, but if you miss, you're dead. Pretty much you're dead. Because. No matter how much you match, it's the same time to get out, like of anything. Yeah. But but pound most of all. Pound does crazy shield, shield damage. damage, and it's it's and it got extended buff, long. It got buffed twice, so it has more range and more shield damage, and they just pound into. They could do pound into fair into rest, which is true for some reason. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But and this is what makes people think that. You know, character. People sucks. say the character sucks, but then they have this. So, what do you want us to do? You know, <laughs> you can't shield it. Then we get we're we're negative, so they're gonna just do a move immediately. Yeah. Like there's nothing we can do unless we turn. Peach, including as also Daisy. Peach. It's 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 for me. It's the four there. Fair. Well, we got nerfed. So sadly, do? that move does like, did like eighteen tipper 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 fair did like eighteen percent killed hella early, but for me it'll probably be like 
I don't know, man. Uh, Peach takes a lot of skill to play, so I don't blame her. I blame her for having stupid moves because, like, how many times do you run to a Peach, let alone a good Peach? But then when you do run to a good Peach, it's a problem because you're going to get hit by a Flow Cancel Nair, which is safe. Safe. Uh, flow Cancel Bear, safe. Uh, full cancel down there. Let's see if again. So, but definitely turn it. Turn it. Turn up is down B. They, she can get a bob bomb. She can get a stitch face. And she can get uh, a Mr. Saturn that breaks your shield. A stitch face that does like 20 damage. And a bob bomb that kills you from zero. Down right. B. Like, why does she have RNG? You know how many games I've seen where pro players are losing, but they pull a bob bomb and throw it, and what do you do when you see somebody pull a bob bomb? What are you supposed to do? Run or shield, <laughs> and, you can't, and it breaks it. It breaks your shield, and you're dead. Uh, but then she has the... But her, her forward air is like, they do they do the short hop, like, cancel, and they float around, and then they just do it on the ground, and then it hits so... They, it, they do it so much that it hits at the ledge, and then, if they wanted to, use the counter... That color, that color is pretty annoying because uh, it has a really huge hitbox because it's all around her. Like, no matter how much you touch where she is, she's still going to get hit by the, you're still going to get hit by the counter. And that shit does a lot of shield damage if you do shield it, if you have the chance to. And if you, you know, if you're, she's off stage and she does it, you're pretty much dead. That does a lot of damage and it kills. But definitely, I would have to stay down B. Like, Granted, it's RNG, but you can pull a bop on it. <laughs> like, and like a Mr. Saturn, a Stitch Face, that does like 20, so like, I don't understand. And that's their go-to move. You yeah. see, round start, Peaches are pulling turnips. Oh, she gets a free turnip pull in the beginning of the, the beginning of the game. And between stocks, too. And she could, you know, pull it, throw it, pull it, throw it, you know what I'm saying? Just in case she doesn't have something good. And it's just, it, it, does have, it leads into combos as well. Good projectile, leads into combos. Bear in mind when she has it. And she can do combos that she has still has a turnip, so you can get sniped. Oh, yeah, that's right. So then the turnip, because she can throw it. Yeah, <laughs> it's over. Ooh, Bowser. Side, side B. B. Side no B. question. Frame six, so fast, you can't see it. Cal uh, uh, command grab, so you can't get out of Ooh. it. Can't break Ooh. it. Can't oh, shield yeah. it. They can go off stage when they're, up th when they're in the lead or when you're at low percent. Um, up B out of shield. They do it everywhere. Up B out of shield isn't as torturous as side B because, I mean, yeah, if they miss, but whatever. But you could be, like, doing something. You could be, like, applying pressure to their shield. And once you're done, they'll either do up B out of shield, which makes sense. Or if you try to shield something after, like, taking damage, they're going to side B and... It does a million damage and knockback, and it sends you off stage to be feared or back aired, which kills at like 30. Uh, so, screw that character. Side B is stupid. If they, if I would go out on a limb, if Bowser did not have side B, these Bowser players, for example, Woodchuck Man, <laughs> would not be doing any good at tournaments at all. He would have to switch. To like Donkey Kong or something, I know that's that's a fact. You players who play Bowser who do that, you're not good because you use side B. I would like to see a Bowser go one match without side B. Okay. They don't think they can. Uh -huh. It's not. It's uh -huh. impossible. Put that on. All games done quick. A Bowser has to play ten matches without using no side, side B. B. Win them all. Impossible. Ice climbers. Uh, from what we saw from Big D, <laughs> it's um, the, side it's B? The, the side B the side and B. the D sinks. The D sinks. Well, the D sinks are very hard, so but I give them because that. that they're able to do it. To do it. You can. can't do. Look, have you seen every combo I've seen from ice climbers? Is a D sink that no one can even um, lab because they don't know how to do it, and it's impossible to get out of because you're constantly being hit. So side B, D, I would just say side B, D sinks. Cause side B itself, sure it's like plus, but it doesn't. It's not even up there when someone can desync anything. 
Uh, I know that like a like a premier like ice climbers like combo or, or like kill confirm is like grab into desync and mana fair. So like you let it's a, you let them go and they fair at the right time it kills because their fair kills early. But that's you know, these things are hard to do. But if they weren't playing with these things, because you know that's like yeah. a super specific same thing, tech. Same thing with the Bowser. I would have to say side B. The so. average player. Uh, the annoying move is side B, but if you're a top player, it's the D swing. Side B is, but they just throw it out. They just throw it and out. And then it's you can't, you, you like you're in so much shield stun that you can't shield drop or just like do anything. Like, yeah, there's I, no lag after it. So they <laughs> can they can jump away. Yeah. and not be punished. Yeah. Now, this is a horrible. Cause Sheik sucks. Cause Sheik <laughs> is not good anymore, but. If we're being real, um, Sheik, uh, all her moves come out honest. very fast. So she has great, she has the best thing that in the game. Again, that uh, between her and Young Link, they have the best thing that in the game. I would mostly say, I don't know, down. So everything comes out pretty fast, but well, um, I, I don't think she has a broken move. Like, all her moves are great, it's just that they don't do damage or kill. When, like, her only kill methods are usually. Uh, the down B with the little string thing. Down B, up B, and, and back air. And, uh, and bouncing and, fish. Uh, and up smash. If this but, was smash horror, we'd be saying bouncing fish. <laughs> or needles. And, and for, in terms of being annoying, there's not a lot of sheiks that are really out there just making people rage There's barely enough needles. sheiks. There's barely enough sheiks at all. There are only sheiks that put in work. I can't, we can't even say Nair because it's not as long as Lynx. Yeah, but it is like, all her arrows are pretty much safe. She has to be safe as they're all fast and safe. That's where that's two two good things, but she's just not good. It takes a lot of optimization to even get to even sketch the surface. And you're gonna lose to someone who plays Inkling or Mario or Donkey Kong <laughs> that put in less work than you, but it's because they play a better character. They just won by default. I don't think well so then I think the consensus is she may be the only person in the game that doesn't have an annoying move. So yeah, I don't think she. Besides, honest character. That yeah. that means she's an honest character. Yeah, she's pretty honest. That's a pretty honest character. Good, good to you, Sheik mains. Even though there's none of you. Zelda. Zelda down B. Zelda down B. The down little B. blue pyramid thing. That thing is annoying. Great. And then Zelda mains will com will will not acknowledge that the move is annoying though. They'll have people complain about it, but then they'll say, well, why don't you do but this? But her sweet spots, fair and back air, oh my god, those kill absurdly early. She goes very early. Her up yeah. air, yeah. her down back air, air, up back air, the your machine finger bang. <laughs> I see a lot of times Lyric plays freaking Zelda kill somebody with back air and the freaking, uh, the set, well, along with the setup, with the, the down B little monster thing. And then you can't uh, you shield it, try to jump, read it, yeah, boom. That covers all of ledge, by the way. So that swing covers under ledge for some reason. So she could just do it at <laughs> ledge and it covers jump. So you have to roll. You have to either roll or time it. And by the, by the time you can time it, they can react to whatever you do because she's not in that animation where she's sending the night anymore. So I would definitely say down B. Down B is Kills very early, covers all the ledge, hits under ledge, free ledge to happen tool. Yeah, down B. Mm -hmm. And and uh, neutral B because they just Oh they get off me yeah, that's a good get, get off, off me tool, tool. Like like out of shield. Yeah. Everyone does it. <laughs> yeah. uh. So Dr. Mario, his back throw kills early, but I, but the but we, but we would have said that about Ness, because Ness has the best back in the game, along with this. In That's why grabs aren't really, aren't really uh, accounted for this. Yeah. But as ter in terms of annoying... Down B, uh, up B, like, he kills very early. I don't like I don't like his up smash, because it sends the opposite way. Yeah, it sends the opposite way that you're headed, so if you're behind him, you go this way. I don't, I don't like it at all. Like, it doesn't go... It goes in the wrong direction, so, like... They're already not DIing it right because no one plays against Dr. Mario. But then they're not, they're living because it doesn't send them far. It sends them in a weird angle. 
that can't really be, you know, comboed off of or do anything about because he's had stubby limbs. But honestly, I'd probably say down B. Down B kills very early. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's used as a suicide move because, you know, when people, when you see the back tomorrow, is the down throw, up air, and air, down B. If they miss, they're dead half the time. Uh, but if they do hit, you're dead at like 40. I mean, I don't even like the fact that Dr. Mario is just Mario, but he just hits harder. Why did they give that to him? Yeah. So, down B and up up, up smash. Most, yeah. Up, Most likely. Smash. Those are the two. Okay, uh, so Falco. It's up tilt. It's up tilt. <laughs> Listen to every combo. <laughs> Falco with no up tilt means no combos. It means it meant the same thing. Melee means the same thing now. Up tilt means no combos. <laughs> like that's like his number one neutral tool. Like up tilt. If he doesn't, he, if you're not able to get the up tilt, he can combo off of like fair drag downs. But like, that's not really. You have to get the grab. So fair re grab, nah. Probably up to up to leads into up to nair, up to fair, up to he has kill confirms off of it. He has like weird setups that like only Toe Day and Jukes know how to do, like only Falcos that exist. I mean nobody's really doing down to into everything like up to this. Yeah, but up to definitely. Up to is like combos into everything. It's kill confirms, combos, damage, resets, up to. It's pretty wide too, so you can't, so like, you can't land on them. And they do it like three or four times. So you're gonna get hit by it eventually. You know, what can you do about it, you know what I mean? Up to <laughs> So Marth. Ooh, Marth. Um I would have to say Marth uh test and temper. Uh not as easy as Lucina. You have to space. But Marth F tilt, dude, that move, that up tilt is or or our F tilt goes very far. Mm -hmm. um, tipper safe. Um, up B probably is another good move. Uh, it's like frame six, invincible in the beginning. So he's weird to edge guard because like you have to you're gonna get uh, skill checked because oh. you gotta make sure you got tech. If you miss the spike because it's invincible and it's fast, it's very fast. Out out of shield move, it kills. But definitely I have to say like fair. Fair, dude. Fair, or fair, not F2. F2 goes very it's far. It's probably just the tilts, then. Like, F2, because you can just space, and if you get tipper, you know, they're going to just chase you and side B. Yeah. But that's, I would say that for a character down the line. But, <laughs> but probably the F2, because you just, you just can't, you just can't stop Marth once they get going. Mm -hmm. And then they hit you with the tipper, and the majority of the aerials, you know, it's very annoying to deal with when Marth just keeps swinging. Yeah. And then it's then it's like tipper, tipper, tipper. So, yeah, the tilts and aerials pretty much, but more so F tilt because you can't can't approach and it goes <laughs> wide. And, yeah, it's above. And then, and then up to like covers yeah. the, the range that F tilt does. It. Yeah. So. There it is. Lucina probably would have to, it would have to be like near, near off stage or the side B. Uh, dancing blade. I was, dancing blade. Well, that would be for boy. Yeah, but uh, Lucina, uh, it's the same as Marth up B frame. Same frame that up. It's just like um, you don't really see too many Lucinas. Using it as much as Mark, yeah. But it's the nair off stage and to approach. Like down tilt is really good too. Down tilt is a great move. It's safe. It's like you poke your shield. And, uh, make sure you know. Make sure you don't. You know. Make sure you don't do anything out of shield. So you can just poke, run away, see what you do, grab. Mm -hmm. But you know, seeing those moves are all good. She doesn't have a bad move. It's just like she is very. She's just depending on who picks her up. Is depending on how she will do, because she doesn't have any projectiles. She doesn't have any like crazy kill confirms. That, oh, you gotta watch out for this at this percent. It's more just like neutral and spacing. So she doesn't really think of having move, but definitely, uh, I'll probably say like her fair, or, like her nair, because like yeah, when there's space, super annoying. Yes. Yeah, you can't you can't do anything about it when there's space. Then again, they have to be spaced, so for them to be annoying. 
but in the conditions that there are, you know, are space, it's a very stupid, very stupid move to deal with, especially when they just throw it out when they want. Absolutely. Man, where do I start with Young Link? Um, Young Link, huh? Young Link, okay. Dude. Uh, Sheesh. I mean, uh, the arrows. I like to say arrows. Fire Arrow. Fire Arrow is so spammable. It confirms in everything he does. And you got to camp him because he's on boomerangs. Boomerang. So, I mean, if you get caught by any of it, boom. Arrow, arrow, up B. Down to uh, the, the toast combos, the down tilt spot, that's down tilt. Because you try to, you think you can grab him. You can't, and you get down tilt into a beat. Uh, you can do like, you can do two back airs on your shields, cross you up. That's safe. Near safe. Bear safe. There. He has a bunch of crazy. I've been telling people for a while that the train data is ridiculous and he's so safe on everything. He's basically just like Zoner Mario. But people don't want to believe me because tweaked up the character. I still think the character is super broken. Like, I don't get why everything's safe, everything's fast, everything's so fast. Combos off of anything, fire arrows. I have to say fire arrows is the most. Yeah. So let me look how if you have to play against Pawn Master, go watch a match, type in Pawn Master, Young Link. You will see how what this person does with this character <laughs> most of the time to win. It's not freaking like F smash at the ledge. It's not jab, rapid jab. It is literally camping using arrows. And until he gets that confirmed, it's over. You can't use him like that. <laughs> Screw this character. Fuck Ganon. Ganon, Ganon is so annoying. Uh, I'd say Nair. His Nair, Nair is hits very fast. Like, his leg will be up here, and it will hit you if you're right here. He'll do the, the, er, the hitbox stins all the way down here. Heavy, heavy damage. On your shield, heavy damage in general, and then on top of that, the jab that comes after it. <laughs> the jab. Jesus. I'd have to say Nair. Nair comes out very fast, um, very fast, normal. Um, combos out of down air, kills off stage. I'd say Nair. Nair is fast, Nair. And normal. Nair is fast, <laughs> and normal that he has. That's like Nair that and he can jab. use. Nair and jab. And oh, important and the smash attacks, you know, the good old smash attacks. Front, that's fine because it's, it's they're supposed to hit hard, but it's like, like the only thing that he used to approach besides the side B, like people know how to get out of it. I mean, you get red or whatever, but if you can avoid that, there's nothing you, you're, you'll be fine. But there's nothing you can do when somebody when a Ganondorf nears you and it does like 20 percent per hit and then if you shield it gets you super super uh small super uh it's super safe to the point where you just you do another move like the jab or an f tilt which can kill you so ganon nair off stage on stage doesn't matter so mewtwo mewtwo <laughs> Has this move? I think you I think you might know what it is. It's yeah. called Nair and uh, the side B, where he flips you up like that. With well, basically a command grab because it goes through your shield. You could just side B into. I know that they're doing side B yeah. to fair. Side B to fair. Also, he has a sable, which is down B, which confuses you. Yeah, but like you got. But you have to you be, facing, be in him. Front, being yeah. facing him, and like sure, that's annoying. That that's it's it's good, but it's not annoying because you don't just get hit with it. People, Mewtwo, the, play, Mewtwo players just thrive off of side B when you're shielding and then the, the, the follow-ups after it. And also the um, the Nair, because it's a multi-hit, it's, you know, like you can catch somebody, um, you can drag down it, do down tilt, the, or the shadow ball, you know, it's not as, it's not as much of a problem as it was a Smash 4, but definitely the side B because everybody just does it because it stops you. I don't like command grabs, okay? Command grabs are dumb. You know, every most characters have one, and it's the only thing that keeps them viable. So no one would be using Mewtwo without side B. Uh, Nair is just, you know, Nair. It's like Pikachu back air and stuff. 
multi-hit Pokemon. I don't know why they keep giving it to them. So, Mewtwo. So, Roy and Krom both have this thing. Because of Cola, this is what everybody wants to do. They want to do side B at the ledge because it kills early. And, you know, they just throw it out whether it's on shield or not. Just because it's a four dancing blade of being a four hit like move, you know, you, you got to shield the whole thing, or you have to, or you'll get caught trying to do something and it's super fast, so you just gotta do 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 do, or you can delay it, mm -mm, whatever. So, side B from Roy and Krom, uh, indefinitely because Krom is not coming back to the stage. <laughs> Because uh, B sucks and, and Roy, if you're not Cola, you're not losing to Roy. Um, so that's basically it. Oh, oh it's to you, Alex. Yeah. Mr. Game and Watch. There's um, so many moves. Probably up B. Probably up B. Up B. Fame 3. Fame 3 out of shield. Up B. Combos. They just spam it. Up B plus up there because every time they do it, and it hits you, they do up air, and you gotta, and you have to land, and you can't, you get like two or three up airs out of it, and and then on, and you can't um, punish anything because out of shield, you're just gonna do it. You can't catch them. A uh, little frying pan. Wow, amazing. Yeah, one. Yeah, he's one of the characters where you have to kind of just play different compared to everybody else. You can't play how you want to play against Game and Watch. You have to watch out for down smash, which oh. buries and kills. Oh, down smash and the forward smash, which is a combo that kills at like fucking seventy percent. Down smash and the forward smash, and you have bucket, which he just kills very. He's a very annoying character to fight. Uh, you, have to, you have he destroys characters alone. Him alone. Him. Him. Kids like him, Pikachu, Kirby, they destroy characters, like invalidate them altogether. Like Ganondorf, I don't know what Ganondorf is supposed to do against. Him. Just a game of watch. Can't recover. Yeah. I just I forgot about down smash. It's ba is move up B, up air, down smash, and the bucket. Oh, are up, his oh. most four annoying or not the bucket, the little bacon pan is most four annoying moves that he has because the, the down smash at the ledge covers so much air. Up smash as well. Up smash, you know, if you watch my theory, oh. my man spams that <laughs> like crazy. He spams that up smash. Down to Oh the the, the freaking the little pleat, yeah. I'll tilt, turn that away angle. Four Jeez. tilt kills. The chair. I think just Mr. Game and Watch. We're gonna have to say Mr. Game and Watch as a whole because his back air also is a thing. Down air because Key. it spikes and it also like has AOE. Yeah. Uh, forward air with the bombs. Like his nair with a fishbowl, <laughs> like anything Game & Watch does is annoying. He might be the most annoying character in the game. Yoshi, Yoshi. Steve, I don't know. We're dealing with a, a good Mount Rushmore, but Mr. Game & Watch has been a, been like this for a long time. Yeah. He's just even more annoying now that it's a faster game, but Mr. Game & Watch as a whole is, is annoying. So for me, Meta Knight, his most annoying move is the side B because you can't punish it properly. Yeah, side B is weird. Um, I like the little bit of Meta Knight to go for the suicide kill, which is side B off stage or side B where they do it where like they have it at like mid stage and they go around and they grab ledge with it to kind of like two frame you. Um, and it bounces them back so you can't really hit them uh and then he's super fast so all he's gonna do is dash attack you cross up your shield you know choo, 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 choo. and then but then the side b is just like you gotta hold all of that and then you can't even do anything about it yeah i'll probably say side b side b is a really annoying move and you can't punish it because like they can do it in the air and it bounces off and they can act out of it before you have the chance to do anything so I'd Oops. rather get hit with up air rather than side B because you know up air like every most characters have an up air up air whatever. The side B, 
that can kill you off stage, can't punch it on stage, multi hit, you just get cooked. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like getting cooked. <laughs> Okay, so the pits, right? So they're they're kind of they're they're different enough to where you can separate it, but all in all, both of them, they're near. Or I would say high B. Yeah, but dark pit side B is it's better. Is better, but pit and, has and better, more annoying. Pit has better arrows because he can aim them like whatever he wants. Pit, a dark pit just goes straight. Whatever you aim is where it goes to. That's the two differences. Dark pit, side B. Uh, I say pit. Um, but one thing good about him is that he has a good, uh, like, weird, not weird. Uh, he has, like, a good dash. So, like, what pits like to do is condition you to grab. So, dash, dash, dash attack, or dash, grab, which you can't really see. You kind of just have to predict it. And then, but, uh, like, Sheik, he's another character where he doesn't have any moves. And just like, oh, my God, I hate fighting Pip because he has this or does this. He's pretty honest, pretty honest character. Most of the time, but when the side Bs come into play, that's when it's like, cause they can just throw it out. And if they're in the air, they'll like, like float. They'll like bounce off and then they'll be able to do it again. Yeah. Uh, it kills early, very hard hitting. I mean, dark pits more than ever. I mean, <laughs> I would say both of them, it would be Nair, but the most annoying thing about Dark Pit is the side B. Yeah. Other than that, they're pretty much, you know, fair game, but they're not that honest. I yeah, that. they're pretty honest. ZSS, bro. Flip kick. Flip kick, flip kick, flip kick. Flip kick. <laughs> flip it got kick. nerfed, but it's just, you can't, between that frames where she's come here, and she gets to the ground, to wherever she's at, she is invincible. You cannot hit her, you cannot do anything to her, and it's fast, you can't react to it. Spike. And she can react out of it, and she, she and it spikes. Spikes sp spikes into the ground and off stage, leads, both lead to up B, uh, then she hits you with it, she basically is safe, because you can't do anything out of shield, uh, and it lead, and it's combo, it's uh, comboable from there, so any so they're just gonna be sh jumping, sh throwing out Nair all the time, yeah. and you gotta shield that. But if they hit that and they're good at it, they're gonna just keep doing it, um, you know. And then I don't, there's no, nothing really crazy about it because nobody likes uh, using ZSS, but it's down, it's down B flip kick uh, spikes like. Like that coupled with the fact that she has the, I think the best initial, some of the best initial dash speed in the game with run speed, she's pretty fast. So like when she runs, she's flying everywhere. You can't really and hit you her. You can't catch her. You can't catch her. And then flip kick is instant. No one can react to that. And you get, and then you would get spiked or grounded and then you get hit up beat and you're just dead. If you get spiked, and then she'll use down air, and her down air is a constant spike. Yeah, like so there's no anything early, below no it is gonna get spiked. Box. Anything below her is gonna get hit. So that's stupid. But that's like if you just want to be disrespectful and yeah. swaggy. So and, uh, besides that, it's the flip kick. Flip kick, yikes! Walk. <laughs> that's when he's down. Walk. And, uh, he got. Pretty nerfed, but before Down to Nair, man, Nair oh. was a crazy move. It comboed into walk, comboed into up air, comboed into up tilt. So I would, I would say Nair. I would okay. So I'm going to say the bite because command it's grab. a command grab, and not only can he heal himself, but you can't. He'll do it at ledge, and you'll get eaten and go through, get thrown back into ledge. Or off stage, and then he'll just keep keep doing it. Uh, it's priority, so nothing really can stop it. If you try to attack him, you have to go like behind him or something. But the 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 waft down to, and then the chomp is the most annoying moves a warrior has. Yeah, because they can just down to they just keep freaking doing it. They got nerfed. Um, the last patch, so 
he can't really do nair into like like most of his walk uh walk comes out slower so like most of the setups don't really work gluten he's still putting work he's still carrying that character but he is a lot worse than what he was before like i used to play on losing nair into up air into walk she's down tilt in the dash attack like that's always been a thing yeah. why you know like why do you need that coupled with the fact that he has some of the best movement in the game he's like in the air he has a great movement in the air he has great air movement so you can jump around like camping with him was pretty easy you just jump around and he was pretty fast on the ground too like he his dashes was pretty good his run speed was pretty good so like and he was pretty heavy too he was one of the heaviest characters in the game so coupled with that being heavy great movement and like great like neutral tools he was pretty broken until you nerfed him. So he's not really as good as he used to be, but people still, still annoying. Him. Yeah. Still annoying. You go ahead. Snake. Snake. Um, grenade. Grenade is frame grenade. one. Yes. Frame one grenade. Um, it's kind of just like a set play thing. You kind of have to deal with it. Like, you have to deal with grenade. You have to find a way how to deal with grenade. Because coupled with the fact that he has some of the best boxing options in the game, uh, down there out of shield, Dash attack, uh, forward tilt, great weapon punch tool, jab, up tilt. I would say up, up tilt. tilt or grenade, man. Up it's tilt probably crazy. just grenade and then up tilt because you went. It's the thing. It's like the best. It's like one of the earliest examples of trying to anti air uh, because the hitbox is so huge. And then it's like the main kill option. Uh, so if somebody's at high percent, that's all they're going to fish for is safe on shield and it's confirmable off of the down throw so like good luck trying to get to him rack up all this damage and now he's like up tilting and getting away with bomb, uh, with the grenades and and the side b the little uh i forgot cypher or yeah what is uh, it? oh uh nikita the nikita follows you off stage Good luck trying yeah. to recover. <laughs> Set the setups too, but it's grenade because he gets out of situations. And the up to up to up to up to up to Nair. Ike has to be Ike Nair. Ike has to be Nair. Nair. Uh, it got nerfed again. I don't know why they nerfed nerfing me. No one's playing the game. Today. But Nair, man, Nair is so safe. Lists everything, lists every combo he has. And Kill was doing really good with them in the beginning of Ultimate. They just picked well, Ike. People couldn't do anything about Nair. He had a great speed too. He was pretty fast compared to how, how, how like of a heavy he was. He was pretty fast and pretty good tilts, pretty good down tilt, pretty good fair, pretty good up air, great kill power. Yeah. Like in the beginning of the game, like when the game first came out, people were saying this is just a uh, smash for Cloud because he had Cloud aerials, um, or he had Cloud up air, but his his um, his nair was like. Just as, just as good as Smash Four Cloud near. So basically, everybody just started doing using Ike early on. Uh, there was a lot of Ikes, but they dropped him. Um, so because he was super quick, no lag, and the Nair was pretty much leads to to the up air. Hmm. And then you die at sixty. But that shit killed. And even if you didn't kill, you're still in the air. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. You just have to land somehow. Right. Like, bro. So it's Pokemon Trainer, but each of them are have collectively broken. collectively broken. But each of them, by themselves, have something stupid about them. So Squirtle first. Squirtle, super fast. But the thing that makes him annoying is his. Uh, I think it's the same thing with like. Pikachu and stuff with the multi hits. Yeah, um, I think it's what is it? Back air. Back air. Um, it's a good combo. Uh, uh, Squirtle has some of the best combo potential in the game off of grabs, off of anything. F tilt, F tilt is intangible, and this frame frame three, so they just thought F tilt leads into grab. Has enough time to lead into grab. Down tilt two frames, up tilt leads to combo. Um, Nair safe aerials. Fair is also spammable, like negative three on shield, so it's safe. Um, super fast. Well, it might be the down tilt then, because the down tilt is what they all start with, with the little trip thing. Yeah, but I would have to say F tilt. F tilt is intangible, so like, if you thought in tech, 
and they do that so they win because you oh. missed and he's small small as hell fast as hell can't hit him I'm pretty sure Squirtle can be good as like his own character if he was that's a, like they, he could definitely be his own character like Squirtle could definitely be his own character if he wanted to but he's just not for Ibisaur uh, down air and up air crazy crazy amount of range they down, nerfed yeah, it down air up air they the nerfed it way. So it doesn't matter. They nerfed it. It doesn't matter at it's all. It's just the hitbox is too big. Uh, shoot side B got nerfed. Um, it has less lag. The up B, has more lag. The up B up B also got nerfed. I remember when down down throw up B was a kill confirmed at like sixty, because the tip of vine whip would kill at like seventy eighty. Like it was so easy to do. Um, down there, dude, just. It covers so much still. It doesn't matter how much um, it is. It doesn't matter what it is, what recovery. Yeah. It, it's it's hitting you. Unless they miss it. Yeah. That's the most annoying. It's up up air and down air. Yeah. And right. Charizard. Charizard. Oh, man. I don't get why he's so fast. He's one of the fastest characters in the game. He has a better initial death than Captain Falcon. That's insane. <laughs> he's as fast as Captain Falcon. Also insane. Super fast. Hits hard. Uh, um, side B. You know, that's a YOLO tool. You know, go Pokemon trainers like the dash back and dash forward, dash back, and then side B out of nowhere. I'm um, saying back here because it can move kills. Uh, he has three kill throws. He had up throw kills, fourth throw kills, back throw kills. Back air, tipper back air. Oh my god, I remember like down throw. I know like down throw into back air is like a like a pseudo thing, like if you DI away, but it still kills either way. Like you would just die. F tilt, sliding F tilt, safe. Um, Smash attacks are crazy. I would have to, for Charizard, I have to say, um, uh, I'll have to say like back air. Back yes. air is crazy. Tipper back air kills very early. Very, very early. Safe. Terrible. Can't do anything about it. And he's just zooming around. I don't understand why he's so fast. So, yeah. yeah. Banana. Banana. Diddy Kong. Banana. His banana. most annoying move is banana. 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 Banana out of field. Yeah, well, you can shield it, but. You can shield. Once you're in shield with banana, anything is punishable. You just. Oop. Oh, out of shield. Throw it, it's on the ground, and then. Leads, it pretty much does everything for him. It's clap. his ledge. It's his nooch. It's his disadvantage. I mean, it, I remember the other. The old, earlier games, you couldn't shield it. So it just goes. <laughs> yeah. Back used to the go through, through, the through the shield and trip you. But in Ultimate. Banana is just a, such a, an essential part of the character. It's an item, so any character that can produce item play is just pretty much going to abuse <laughs> the the thing. And then, of course, side B because the command grab. But that's not as annoying because you don't really you don't really use it for that. So I'm just going to say the banana by itself. Diddy Kong pretty much. Is, he's just a fast character that's yeah. hard to catch. Yeah. And along with that, the banana is going to mess you up and yeah. kill control. But the bad thing is, you can be used against him as well as him using himself. So, you can't really do anything about that. But still, banana, once it's in his hands, is crazy. Because you can throw it. It goes very far. It goes very, well, a lot farther than people think it goes. Very far. And, you know, to can listen to anything. You, you can do anything. You can grab you. You can... Hit you with a tilt, he can hit you with a smash attack, grab you, whatever you want. So right. It has to be banana. Oh, don't forget when they used to do the infinite. Oh, the banana. The on the, the, yeah. So, definitely, no question. So, Lucas. Lucas. Down smash. Down smash, PK freeze, and down, down smash. smash. Crazy. <laughs> he is also another character that I, I've, I've been saying is broken. His frame that is crazy. His like his priority on all his normals like nair, fair, back air, it's very fast. I, I they I've been seeing Nessus do down tilt and down tilt into the neutral B or the little the down B. Yeah, and it just like you can't do anything. The fair, it's that's safe, safe, safe. safe. It kills. He doesn't have a yo yo, but the PK ice. PK, PK freeze. freeze. PK freeze. I mean, they'll just throw it out and just off stage you're dead, it. dude. Off stage you can't avoid that. Yeah, they, they have to aim it. They have to aim the PK freeze. But even though if they aim it or not, it's still a very broken like tool that he has at his disposal. Down smash at the ledge is pretty much it. Snake the scissor the snake. 
Um, oh yeah, the uh, jump short hop. Yeah, short bears. hop there is pretty is safe as well. If they know how to do. And that. he has like an infinite where he just does that over and over. But like that's only like the good Lucas's. But definitely down smash at ledge covers like yeah. Whole ledge. If anyone just were to pick up Lucas, fair down smash, you get into an elite <laughs> easy. PK freeze. That's all you need. Bro. That's all you need. Well, I don't I don't know if this character really is annoying, you know what I'm saying? I think this character's pretty he's pretty uh he's pretty honest. Pretty honest, right? Gotta shake you're gonna shake your opponent's hand after facing this character, right? So there's nothing wrong with Sonic. There's nothing wrong with Sonic, you know what I'm saying? I like to say that he's lying. There's everything wrong with he Sonic. He just shook my hand. It's a this matter. Everything's wrong with Sonic. Sonic is fastest character in the game. Fastest, oh, he has a tap too. Fastest yes. character in the game. Um, I mean, he has to be Sonic the Hedgehog. I know, but he's still the fastest character in the game. Um, Don't blame me for how uh, uh, Sonic plays Sonic, but seriously, it's been, I, actually, I would reckon to say that it's not Spin Dash isn't the annoying part about Sonic. It's the fact that he, it's the it's the play style. So smat, uh, spin dash and spin charge are like just regular combo starters. It's just the fact that the way that other people are using it is to run away. So and the kit itself, it's it's uh, well spin charge. It's a multi hit and it leads to you know fair whatever. That's most people have that spin charge or spin dash probably be the the most frustrating one to deal with because you can um, it can go through items but you have to do it at the start like so you got to time that no one is really doing that every time and um, it's one hit I don't think it's that comboable but what I will say is that what's annoying about Sonic is not really his moves. It's, it's the fact that people are playing him, playing, Lame. playing keep away. So it's it's weird because it's not anything to do with his moves. It's the play style. That's what I that's what I argue most of the time. People like Sonic, but fighting against him is a pain because he has great movement fast back air kills like it's it's reasonable but in order to get to, like he's not gonna let you approach he's just gonna run away he has a lot of a lot of escape options you know uh, he has the spin shot up B um, you know I mean homing attack I guess I mean, he doesn't really have any broken moves. He's broken because he's just... He's annoying he because has he... has spin dash plays. that can run away from him when he can't catch him. Yeah. Fast character in the game, can't catch him. Yeah. Just can't get mad. Uh, it's, he, the, it's, it's the people the that play them. Obviously, there's no good way to look at Sonic, no, no matter how... Uh, 6WX, he was an aggressive Sonic, but, like, it's just, it like, no one wants to hear that because, like, oh, he's going to be aggressive because, you know... But this is what to say about Sonic, you say Sonic is, you know, annoying. Yeah, this, this, that's why. This like they, they associate the moves with it being annoying, but it's not. It's not what you could do with the moves is great, but winning with Sonic is what is annoying about it. King DDD. King DDD. Sucker Cuck. Uh, the freaking Gordo. And the fact that he has up air is the most, or up air and dash attack, even though it's slow. I know I've been told it's high, it's risk and high reward, but there's no way that dash attack should be doing that much damage and that much knockback. There's no reason for that. Um, break shield easily, up air, uh, kills. He can do it at the ledge, so you can't get close to him. He floats. Um, he's heavy. Gordo can make it stay in front of him or throw it outwards. And he could catch it, throw it back, and it'll do even more damage. 
and knockback because of the multiple multiplier that it comes with. Um, Unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? I uh, that's not fun fighting DDDs. Uh, sadly, no, no one likes fighting DDDs at all online. They do, the same thing. they do the same thing. They do the same thing. They meme like they think it's funny. It's it's just very annoying, very annoying to face them. They all have the same play style. They all play the same way, and it's just Gordo, suck and cut, uh, um, forward tilt, down tilt. You think you can punish it? You can't. You die. Yep. Oh, the the hammer, the freaking the oh my god, that shit's very scary. Break shield. Fully charged and it's very scary move to just have and just like go out. So yeah. I would have to say like I would have to say what's broken. Um, probably Gordo or downbeat. Those are very annoying moves. To, like because like you can't really take that character seriously. It's just too goofy, man. It's not fun fighting. Cause like you have to play all oh, man. I have to watch out for these cheese mechanics. That's all these do is cheese. Like, once you avoid the cheese, he's easy to beat, but no one wants to play a DDD nonetheless, so. Yeah. His uppies, his armor. So. Well, the upbeat armor, yeah. yeah he has, absolutely. like, multiple jumps, so edgeguarding is, edgeguarding him is hard already, so. Absolutely. <sighs> Olimar, man, um, she, I don't know too much about Olimar, but what I do know is that Pikmin, uh, and then again, this is the same thing with Sonic. It's the way people play Olimar. Like, you can't, the whole goal is to stay away yeah. and yeah. use the Pikmin. So the Pikmin attack, like, get attached to you and they do damage. And then the blue one is like a grab, is a grab, like, Pikmin and it's far reach and it just a kill throw. But overall, it's probably just the Pikmin and the play style like purple pikmin yeah that's annoying purple I pikmin out smash is crazy that's but it's crazy. like but it's like the 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 way you play olimar is like item management he's met i mean he's very hard because like most people who've been playing them playing them for playing olimar for years but either way it's not fun to fight in olimar no matter how strong no matter how weak no matter how anything it's very annoying fighting olimars uh because like it's like weird because like you don't fight against Olimars and you lose and then you're just like wow and then you're not going to be able to get any like good practice against them because no one plays Olimar except yeah. for like players who have been playing them since Brawl and you don't want to play against Olimar <laughs> so it's just the play style like I said with Sonic and the, the Pikmin because there's nothing really swag about Olimar to really be complaining about yeah um, so Good luck in pools against Myron, because you're going to be taking a nap. <laughs> yeah. The Cario or Sphere. No matter what or you say on, on the side beat. The side beat or, or the command the, the command, command grab. grab. Because it kills you. No, like, stupid early percent. And then the or Sphere eats up your shield, and then he can cancel it and kill you. I hate... There's no other thing about Macario that is more annoying than the rage. Yeah. Uh, uh, not rage. Um, what's it called? Aura. Aura. Aura side B. Yeah. It's basically, and then if you don't grab him, it's basically projectile. Yeah. So. And you die pretty early. Granted, um, rage has been nerfed in Smash Four, so you don't see a lot of Macarios <sighs> a lot. So and, and he thrived off in a game where rage was king, and his mechanic was built around taking, taking the damage. most damage yeah it is pretty stupid to just like have my like 130 and then you die at, like 60 percent to like side b or forward smash or something else some weird and then you no pun nobody plays with cario so then you're gonna lose because you don't you don't it's know how to play getting arrested <laughs> So you're gonna lose because no one plays him, and then you're not gonna find any again with Olimar, you're not gonna find anybody to play with. No one plays Lucario. He's too strong. He's too strong for someone to have what he possesses. Like every move, back air kills you. Up up smash. Like, yeah, Lucario is too strong with aura with the side B and the aura sphere. Like you can sit at ledge, charge it, let it get and it gets bigger with aura. 
So you're going to have to find a way to get in there because if you roll, he's going to do it. Try to get up and block. It's going to just eat your shield. Jump. I don't know. Stupid. Okay, Rob. Side B. Da, his moves are crazy. Down tilt. Down tilt. It's like mm -hmm. frame six. Yep. Safe. All this is what you're going to see. Um, down air lasts very long. Lasts very long. And that's all broad players do. Side B kills very early. Like his Dota Denver is like the, it's like the, um, like the Nair, uh, Gyro. Oh, he, he has a bunch of Gyro. You can't grab it. The hurt box on that shit you is so stupid. You have to so wait stupid. for it to stop spinning. Yeah. Like, that, who is going to wait? The hitbox on that is so stupid. Only he can grab it. You can't grab it. You, you, he can <laughs> grab it with down tilt. You can't grab it. He can throw. You can throw it at him, but like when you try to, when he throws it and you shield it and you try to grab it to, you know, try to use it against him, it's gonna give you damage. And then when he when he does grab it, his whole mission is to get. I don't know what the comp like. He throws it, catches it near, or throws it, catches it fair. And then he's there, catches it with the nair. And then throws then it, and then side B, side B that kills you zero percent. Uh, and then down to because he just keeps doing it on your shield. Oh, down throw! You have to mash it up a down throw. It's a down fifty throw. fifty. Yeah. It's a fifty fifty. If you don't mash, you get up smash. If you do, if you do mash, you get up air. And that up, he just has up air is a crazy move. Down air is a crazy move. Down tilt, side B, neutral B, down B. He has a great kit, but you know people like to say, oh, he's heavy. Let's get. You can barely hit him. He can fly away. He grabs. He's a, he can grab. He can zone. He can box. You know what I'm saying? He can box with down tilt. I don't get it. I don't get why he can box when he's a robot. And why is he? Why does he have so much frame data and great moves? Yeah. And people don't think he's a good character. It's crazy. I think he's at least. You guys just you guys don't learn, bro. But that's why we're here, okay? To get you to realize these characters are stupid and. You need to stop listening to tier lists. Yeah. Bomb. Bomb. So, so Toon Link. Hi, bomb. Bombs. Bomb. bomb Probably the fair. same thing with Young Link, but it's just, just, it's just the same. It's just bomb. It's a fair. Bomb is a crazy thing, man. That leads into his co combo game. This is bomb and a fair. That's it. Bomb, throw bomb, fair. That's his kill confirm. Uh. He has like a win box on like his, I think it's down there. It's down there has a win box one. That's weird. Uh, he kills pretty early. Yeah, F smash kills way early. Yeah. Um, it's, and he's pretty annoying too. He's very small. And he plays super keep away. He probably plays the most keep away, like, out of any link. Because he can bomb throw, bomb throw, side B, arrow, bomb. Like, he plays the most keep away out of any link. And he's hard to hit because he's very small and fast. And it's very annoying to face him because. Everything is like weirdly safe, and no one plays Toon Link, so you're gonna lose. I just don't like playing it in Toon Link, honestly. Yeah, pretty simple, it's just bomb. Yeah. Okay, where do I start with Wolf? <laughs> you don't need to lie about it. His pretty hit, honest, right? No, no. <laughs> His hitboxes make zero sense. <laughs> Down smack. If only I save the replay, or if only I finish the match, because I'm not finishing a match when a wolf does down smash at the ledge, and he's up here, and I'm down here, and it kills me. So, down smash, annoying. Back air, annoying. Fair, annoying. Blaster, annoying. Everything about wolf is stupid. Up smash, annoying. You just can't get hit whenever he does it like G <laughs> no I'm not facing wolves no more unless they pay me you know the down smack when you do a move and it like two frames it should at least touch you that doesn't make any sense F tilt why does it hit twice it should only hit once because it's this. This is one hit. It's one motion. It's going ooh ooh. Don't it's not see? Street Fighter. Okay? <laughs> it should not hit two times. That is annoying too because it it also is big as hell, and it's his horizontal reach hits under the ledge, so I can't recover. No one can recover. Even wolves can't recover. 
Uh, can't hit in it. Can't hit him on shield because he's just gonna up smash you. Um, bro, back air just everything kills pretty much. Everything back air up, up air, tilt up tilt kills. Jeez, dash attack down smash sports smash. Everything has no lag. Only thing that makes him a bad character is the fact that he has a bad recovery. His recovery is very like telegraphable. Sometimes not really because you can get spiked by side B. But like. If yes. you take a jump, he's dead. <laughs> like, know, he's not coming back. You don't have to worry that's about one, that. That's the one thing that's making him from like being the best character in the game. You it's don't have just... to worry about that because you're, just gonna, you're not going to be able to get him off the ledge <laughs> because you are going to be off the ledge. And he's going to hit you with down smash, F2, F2. If I had to say, though, the most annoying things out of those, out of him, is the F2 and the down smash. You know, I can get hit up by up smash for days. And no matter how many times it low profiles me, because who the heck does B boy stand up smash like that? Um, I get hit by blaster, but I do not like getting hit with down smash and F tilt at the ledge, because it just doesn't hit me. And F tilt doesn't need to be hitting twice. No, it doesn't make sense. Oh, we're getting into Smash Four, my baby. All right, Smash Four. Started off with Villager, and Villager, what this cat likes to do that is so annoying is the, uh, what's it, um, it's the, the fair. Oh, slingshot. The slingshot, fair, because that, he, it's forward and backward, forward air and back air, because he has nothing, really nothing else, and um, he sets up things to where you want to jump, and he just keeps hitting you, and you, you get, uh, out prioritized by it so you lose jumps you get skill check um, it's very small so you can't see it it's they're pretty much their only tool to get in if a tree isn't there you know or they don't have like a Lloyd rocket that's what they'll do they'll put the Lloyd rocket out you want to jump over it but nope slingshot hits you now you gotta hold the Lloyd rocket and they'll grab you so it's the slingshot, basically. It's that's pretty much it for a villager. Yeah, slingshot and like weird cheese shenanigans down the ledge that kills pretty ugly as well. Or bowling ball, the bowling ball off the ledge. I mean, that is very stupid, but it's like, like I wish that it didn't just go all the way down. I mean, it's a bowling ball. It's gravity. It's gonna do that. It's like the one thing that he has that's like uncontestable, to where you gotta like recover outside the 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 the, the, la the grab ledge range. <laughs> Cause like once you get off stage, you just walk, waddle their way over there and just yeah. So you like gonna have to fight your way to getting on stage is annoying as well. But it's the slingshot. Because it just negates everything. Yeah. You getting hit with the bowling ball is just regular F smash, but it's like an F smash off stage, which is no one else, no one else has except Ness. But pellets, man, pellets, 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 pellets. pellets. You, Mega Man, the most annoying yeah. is pellets. If you don't have an answer for pellets, he kind of gets just chipped out. Um, fair. He has good normals. Fair. Back air, down air, the freaking knuckle. Down air, disjointed, and kills, spikes, up air, the little tornado. Yeah. Uh, but the, the leaf shield and what they do with it is rigged. annoying because you can't get out of that. You can't get out of the setups because they just constantly keep doing like these. Yeah. He is a hard, he is a hard, he's a very hard character to play. Uh, you need to know like a lot of leaf shield. Like I know there's like a leaf shield, like laser thing. I know there's like a the Z drop razor. The, the uh the z drop blade metal blade out of like shield and stuff like that it's pretty hard so i give him that but like he's a hard character because it's awkward because like once he's in a, a direction he has to commit unless he turns around so like but still pellets are pretty annoying to like deal with it's hard to deal with like mega man because you can get chipped away and then die you know what can you do really you know what i mean yeah it's not like smash 4 though freaking metal blade Footstool, footstool, pellet, pellet, pellet. Oh, uh, so you can. 
trainer, leaf uh, fit trainer, sun salutation, sun salut after deep breathing, deep breathing, broken, deep breathing, deep breathing, because you gotta run away. They like, have you gotta wait yeah, for it to go They have away. they get a um, speed boost, they get a power boost, and they heal, and they heal. So that's a double, that's a triple, um, and it's round start too. They can do it at the beginning. Um, it, uh, leaf fit's very annoying. John Numbers, I'm looking at you. I'm sorry. Um, Jay Z, I'm looking at you. Uh, you know, planking at ledge is not fun. You could just do that at ledge. Um, they like see as way animations. Uh, Soccer ball itself kind of like gets them agitated. Yeah, like at ledge, soccer ball into like nair, and that does a lot of sure damage. Deep breathing. Uh, like like he said, uh, once they do it, you have to run away. You can't really challenge them because you're gonna die because they have they can kill you very early. Very, very early. Deep breathing, forward smash, deep breathing, up smash. That's up smash. They can, uh, at French guard too. Their down air is really good. He fits down air is really good. And the fair, but the leg, the they the, the leg foot, spikes. Yeah, like the foot part of fair. Didn't spikes. know that. Uh, the spiking with the ball. Uh, but it's pretty much not, but, but, you know, you have to get, get used to that. Cause that's just, that's just like kill moves, but it's the deep breathing aspect to where it's increased everything and you gotta make sure you can't so it until it goes away so she can't do it again and then hope for the best so luma. rosalina luma most annoying move is the luma <laughs> luma uh man i know, I know the it's buzz way too hard the buzz is the only luma that's gonna work but luma these things is very annoying like hitting her like grabbing her it's very annoying because like you grab her, Luma comes. Ugh, no, you grab her, uh, Luma comes again. No, like, it's hard it to grab her. Kills you because um, it hits really hard. Uh, it can hit you. Uh, they can do all these moves, uh, long range, and then it was so. She's such a like unique character uh, in the meta to the point where the whole like way the whole way to learn the matchup was to get rid of Luma, and when people started doing that in Smash 4, they started seeing results, but it would come back, and people would remember the, the seconds it took to come back, so Luma or Rosalina would like jump around the stage and camp until it came back, and then they just go back to doing it. Um, the star bits, the, down, the, the F smash at the ledge kills, and it's a two frame. This small little thing that you can't really interact with can kill you uh she's like man it, i mean it was way way worse smash four with hitboxes and killing a zero but in ultimate the star the the luma is the most annoying part about rosalina yeah i don't want to talk about this character why not what do you mean because see here's the thing right people keep saying this character is the worst character in the game but then Every time I see this character, I see people keep getting side bead. I keep seeing people get uh, shield broken. I keep seeing people get KO punched. Because Little Mac is not a bad character. <laughs> he's so annoying. He's not bad. His recovery is bad. Yes, his recovery is bad. You get him off stage. But guess what he has? He has armor on smash attacks which they can just keep doing and because it's, it's not quick, it's not regular armor it's, it's not regular super armor. armor it's super armor that means he can keep doing it and you can't punish it at all because guess what he's going to do it on your shield it's either it's either uh safe enough to where it's you know it's far away and can't punish it or he's going to do rapid jab or do another frame one jab or your frame one jab or he's going to do another smash attack and that's just enough is that's just more shield pressure on you so you're not going to want to shield and then he's going to catch up to you build up meter ko punch you and then when you get him off stage he has this panic option yeah i don't i don't beat. think he's as easy to edge guard as people make it seem yeah to make it he's speed. not as like if unless you're mario or you're a zoner you have a pro you're gonna have a problem with this character well, it's definitely he's one of those characters that like can beat anybody and it's because of tail punch and how hard he hits it's hard fighting him because it's that fear of like dude i can die at like 40. right if i don't write down to 
sends you up and it's the confirm too like all he needs to do is have you at 15 he killed ko punch kills at 15 percent down tilt is by itself is probably like three down tilts i think it's like 30 percent but three down tilts up to ko punch <laughs> like people and then little max fly under the radar because every because of what people keep saying even meister says this character it um disagrees with me that the character is bad on he said this on his twitch with uh that the character is bad but he only says that because he's not an average joe and he plays game and watch he has no problem getting little mac off the stage you know but for characters like for people who me who use characters like ken um shulk like um they're gonna read the counter first off um they're gonna power through all my uh attacks with ken um can't jump on him like it's ridiculous can't air can't edge guard because the side b goes like before his side b was the recovery so once he did it he couldn't do a beat but now they can they gave the shield the sonic spin dash cancel to little mac for some reason don't know why they did that <laughs> i mean but this neutral b if he, if he breaks your shield and he does neutral b chart it's instant kill because it charges all the way up at the ledge this character's done and i don't know why you guys don't haven't realized it yet but wait till your favorite uh smash player gets beaten by little mac and then you're going to come running back to me and him and saying that we were right. But we've been right all along, but you guys don't want to believe us. So we'll just wait until you guys, we'll see you at SmashCon. And then you'll be seeing a bunch of people losing the Little Mac, okay? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll wait till then. But that's what, guys. Greninja, most of the move is dash attack. Dash attack. Hits from a while. Hits from pretty far. Crosses up very fast, very unreactable. And it pretty much leads to everything. Dash attack into up, jack down up air into jab, jab into jab block into whatever. Um, counter, counter the substitution. Yeah, the substitution. If you if he counters you off stage, he he can spike you by holding down. Um, and he can make it back. Yeah, uh, back here he has great fan data as well. But the one thing about him, yeah. and he has low profiles, but he low profiles and everything. It's so freaking so slippery. But the one thing that's bad about him is that he is combo fool and he dies really fast. Um, and he can easily get like walled out by like this joints. Like he doesn't really win. Like his fair is not that fast. He's just a fast character. He's like he basically just better chic pretty much. Has fast normals, safe normals, good projectile. Uh, but dash attack is probably the best move. It listens to everything. Dash attack, up air, drag down. Yeah, just dash attack. Crosses up, fast, instant. Can't do anything really about it. So dash attack is like his one move that makes him better than like make what makes Geninja's that tech been the same since Smash 4 and it's, it's the same now pretty much. Mm. Mm. Alright, we've made it to Palutena and I think you guys can hard read know what this move is gonna be. Give it a second. Okay, so now the correct answer is Nair, Nair. and Up Air. Nair. Nair and Up Air just basically you just guys just beat that to like beat that horse dead like you just nair combos into itself out of the down throw and then once you keep once you're finished with nair you're gonna finish it with up air and those are the bread and butters but up air kills nair is a great edge guard tool and on top of that um you don't have to approach because you have the, whatever that is the the, the neutral b but you do nair on people's shields like it's just the go-to move basically yeah when it comes to uh, palu uh palu fair got nerfed on shield it's not as safe it was it was like fame it was like safe it was like like negative three so like they just spam fair They're like it's a great move um dash tag invincible back air invincible down tilt two frames uh shouldn't have a bad move i'd say our best worst move by side b Pretty slow. I don't know why Palutena's use it off stage so much. Or use that neutral. It's a very laggy move. You don't really get a lot of reward from it besides maybe, maybe getting a kill. But like it's very predictable. Like if they see you just standing there, they can just, you know, they can easily just jump over it. But like it's a very bad move. Probably side B. Side B and F tilt. 
uh, she has like a little confirm that's like back of the nair. If you hit the back of the nair, it's up to it combos until like a couple confirm like 120. Like, that's the only people doing that. Like, Who would know that? Chag. <laughs> Chag and Nairo have been doing it uh, and lately. And food since we're going to see that person yeah. <laughs> there. Yeah, I'm saying. Okay, so oh, Pac-Man, I'm uh, going to say it's... Or Hy Hydra. The Hydra. Hydra, man. Oh, my God. Very annoying. Easy landing tool. Kills. There's doesn't... so many conversions. Yeah, it. take... Yeah, like, it pushes you away. Like, most people just stand behind and just... Like, what the pac <laughs> optimal Pac-Man... Optimal Pac-Man gameplay is Hydra, stand behind it, charge through. What are you supposed to do? Because or... Hydra, it takes, like, a three or four hits. It depends on how hard the moves hit for it to, like... Go away. So, uh, I'd say hydrant. Hydrant, only because you can use it at the ledge, use it off stage. But if you use it at the ledge, you can, uh, there's setups to where you can just have it bounce in place so that way they stay on ledge and you can charge your fruit or you can scare them and like try to go out there. Um, I mean, obviously, if you, if the opponent breaks the hydrant, you can get hit, but that's not even. Here and over there, the bell is pretty dangerous, but you gotta charge it up. The the hydrant kind of just comes out, and then also the the hydrant you can grab people through it. If they they try to destroy it, um, and then you can just kill them. So the hydrant is pretty pretty much the annoying thing about Pac-Man, unless you know somebody wants to disagree about any of these. Because <laughs> I don't know every move. I know most moves, but nobody's playing Pac-Man. I mean, four there, like, kills off stage, but imagine trying to get on ledge with a bouncing, heavy projectile that's just going to sit there and you're going to kill yourself. All right, so Pac-Man, definitely the Hydra, most annoying move. I hate Robin. Robin is so ridiculous. The freaking eleven sword. Eleven sword. Any eleven sword, like move, material, whatever you want, that shit is ridiculous. Eleven sword down smash. Eleven sword down smash. Multi hit, hard hitting. Move, break shields. Break shields, and it's a two frame, so you can't do anything. Fair, hits hard. Up air, kills. Back air, kills you, and then. He has the nerve to let go of it and it throw and you can throw it at him. <laughs> Leaven Sword anything by Robin. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be a jab, but it's usually the aerials and down smash. Or the smash attacks, basically. Leaven Sword just hits way too damn hard. But the most annoying one out of them all is the down smash. Nothing really nuts to say about that. <laughs> but freaking Leaven Sword Robin. Okay, Shulk. All right, Shulk is my baby here. Now, Monado's. Monado arts. It Monado be, arts. It could be fast. It can, you know, kill you at like two. Cause, shoot, oh my God, dude! It can force smash, smash art. You're dead. Buster all the damage. Speed can't catch him. Jump can't catch him again. Shield, you're not going anywhere unless you grab them and wrap and jab them. Uh, jump, great way to save yourself from recovery, and if you know how to use them while you're in the in midair, uh, they're a great option for you. Obviously, you can get cut um, by picking the wrong one, but the one thing that people forget that not the average person is doing, but just to put in there, Monado Arts have um, invincibility cancels, so um, at certain points in time, you can uh, activate a Monado Art and avoid moves. I've done them before at the right time. You can cancel um, your lag from aerials by doing them into moves. Um, you know, Shulk is a very multifaceted character. It's not pretty, it's not that hard. Fair, you know, Nair. This is pretty much all you have to do. Yeah. And what I like to do is go off stage, do up B, uh, reverse up B by hugging the stage. <laughs> and it pretty much gets all recoveries. Um, I'm hoping to use that next week. Um, 
but Shulk is it's pretty annoying uh, because all the all it's pretty much aerials fair, all the time. Fair in there, bro. Not fair is crazy. Fair is back crazy. air, back air, just to get through stuff. But Nair, fair, Nair is safe. Fair is just it covers all around him, so it's really hard to do anything about. You know what I mean? It's yeah. definitely Monados are fair. How's Bowser Jr. Jr. Here. Uh, jab at the ledge. Jab. Jab at the ledge should not kill. Yeah, jab kills. That's kills. annoying. That's the annoying. Well, I guess just rapid jab. Rapid jab is so dumb because it kills at the ledge. So, um, rapid jab for Bowser Jr. just makes no sense because a lot of characters have rapid jabs that don't kill, but they gave one to Bowser Jr. Um, I don't yeah, know why. Loves, you know. <laughs> the hammer. And his third most annoying move is the side B. Side B. The cart. Because it hits hard. Yeah, it does hit very hard. And he can kind of out of it. He could like, do side jump. B to jump up air, whatever. Low go to cage. Whatever you do. Exactly. Whatever you do. Hopefully, I mean, let's see how far you get uh, in bracket by doing all those moves. I mean, the only people, like I've said this before, the only people who play Bowser Jr., people who like sh um, kitchenware and... Tongues. That's it. Like if you like licking people and you like forks, then Bowser Jr. is your guy. But picking rapid jab, side B, and the hammer because they can just upbeat. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Duck Hunt. Okay, so Can't. before I say it's the with him as a character is annoying, it's probably gonna have to narrow it down to the can. Because that's pretty like it explodes, so that means you can't really attack it like as good as you want to. So I mean, you can you can't hit it hard enough. But then they also can move it. They can move it. It's not gonna just sit there. They can move it to you. You shield it. You get camped out by it. Um, the clay pigeon. And then, you know, what else do they have? The, the forwards, little... Their forward smash, forward smash goes pretty far. The forward smash uh, and the down the, smash. The shooters, the, the little sheriffs, the little down Mexican beat. guys. Yeah, I don't know. Um, they're pretty weird. He's just a hard character because, like, I don't know what goes on. And I don't know how people, I don't know how people win with them. I don't know how to. I don't know how people win with them. I don't know how the Japanese. I don't know how, yeah. Smash for you know, right so. But I don't, know, I don't know how anybody plays how they play that character. I, I don't understand the character at all. They're just doing wonders with him and destroying people with freaking duck type dog. Yeah, bro. The clay pigeon and the, the can of beans <laughs> or pork and beans. I believe the next character was Shoto's. Uh, so, because they are actually different, not real echoes. The only thing is their out damage output and stuff. So Ryu, I, I wish I made this Smash Four because most his Nair was amazing. But the most of thing, annoying thing about Ryu is his fireballs. Red fireball. Red fireball does a lot of Shokunet's fireball. A lot of. Shield, pressure, pressure, pressure and damage and it was far very far yep you can just keep doing it um now i would argue some people would say focus attack that's annoying but with all these people that have multi-hits what you can do with the yeah but all these people that have multi-hits and then people who are just bold enough to grab forget about that up tilt isn't as like it's not as priority. It's not as prioritized as the previous game, so I would have said that. But it's the fireball, and sure you is just pretty much unsafe. Um, but you got to punish it correctly. Like, don't wait for him to land, because he's just gonna spot dodge do it again. Yeah. Uh, so that's all you people out there. But the fireball, <laughs> because it racks up quickly. Like you could be a zero, and then they do it. You get hit with four of them. You're pretty much at like kill percent, so you have to watch out about that. 
And then Ken, his most annoying move is his uh, his roundhouses and things like that because they lead into they lead into so much opportunity to uh, not being able to escape. You know, um, his uh, I don't know what the heck it's called in the game, but this crescent the crescent kick leads into lots of combos, but also if he wants to read you um, and read the, the air dodge, it's hard to get out of. He can break your shield by the setups. Um, so it's like the roundhouse and the crescent kicks are his annoying, most annoying moves to deal with because he hits so hard. His tattoos and all that, they do multi-hits and trying to get out of the pressure is pretty much annoying to break it all down. <laughs> Back Swag. Here. Swag incarnate back but here. Cloud is most annoying to move his back. Safe, very safe. Back here. Space, not space scannable. That's his move. His, his whole thing is just back air. Back air and fair. Back air, fair, that's it. And then they move, and then the thing about Cloud is people play him so aggressively that you, you can't, like, you got, they don't want to calm down. So, like, you just, will just get hit by random stuff. Back air, and I'm going to put up B out of shield. Up B out of shield. Because it's the it's an easy punish and it's a multi hit move that you can't get out of. Unless you're Yoshi. Crazy. But back air, up B out of shield. Clouds love doing it. Um they just run around the stage, just they they might just run up and do it to you. <laughs> but back air, they just swing it, swing their sword, swing their disjoints around, up B and back air. Kills and just racks up damage. Don't get, don't go on battlefield because up B is gonna reach the top platform and they're just gonna maybe do it again. So corn, up air. Up air or and neutral B or no, pin, say B. Yeah. Nah, that move is No, but they I don't use it in. That move is stupid, man. Oh my God, that move is great. Off stage, on stage, pin. Uh, forward smash, you know, on your shield, the, the little chainsaw. Oh, and yeah. The, the little, the blade. Yeah, thing, it's, yeah. The dragon shot thing <laughs> is not annoying as much as the up air. Uh, when people down air you off stage, that's annoying. Um, because it's a multi hit, it's going to kill. Uh, but I guess the pin, if people can hit it, but I don't see people just doing pin every day, but more so like killing you with up air at early percents and then the holding this the the side B or the forward smash. What are you gonna do? I don't know how Bayonetta works. I don't know how Bayonetta works. I don't know how Bayonetta works, but uh, uh side B. Side B side B off ledge is very annoying. Um because like you can't less trap her, you can't combo her because she has much time and bats with him. Um, then the then the combos off stage. Then the combos. The, fair. the fact that you have to SDI her combos specifically are like annoying. You have to learn that just to beat her combos. Um, but gladly side B is gra you. It doesn't go through you anymore, so you can grab it. You can yeah, do it on shield. You can grab it. You can punish it, but dab kick and AFK still are a problem. A B. Like her recover, like just the way she gets back on the stage. You cannot edge guard her. You can't edge guard her. Very hard to edge guard her. She has so many tools. She has double jump. She has a side B. She has up B. And she has a. Uh, does she have a wall jump? I think she has a wall jump. No. She but, can sit on the wall. Yeah, she has a really good uh, air dodge too. Air dodge stays really good. And then down B, uh, you know, just in case you want to hit her. Uh, which time? Got like. And then you die. About then down air because um, it makes it hard to get on ledge because uh, it's like a multi-hitting leg. I don't know how you have that. And then the uh, pursuing attack with the bullets, the bullet <laughs> arts. <laughs> so man, that is a problem. Back here. Okay, back so here. Inkling's most annoying move is back, back here. here or 
the roller. The Back roller, roller is stupid because it buries you. And then you just, you got to eat that. They just throw has, it out because you, you can't really see it coming. She basically has an unseeable dash grab because she's in the ground. So by the time she comes up, you already grab it. And she's fast. Um, back air, combos, dash trapping. I don't know. The only thing that she's light and she loses the swords. But it's really hard to hit the good inkling because you're going to get that back air. Walled out back air. Safe. Safe on block. Um, Spamble. And then they do that, continue to grab, and then you shoot, or continue to shield, and you get grabbed. And then you don't know what's going on anymore. And then the side view. Roll And they jump, air dodge back, up smash, and then spinning the little oh thing on this. <laughs> Ridley. Dicks. Rid. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Nair, Nair and F2. F2 goes pretty far, and Nair goes pretty far. Uh, uh, really, uh, no, up smash. Up smash? Up smash. It goes behind him? It goes behind him, hits hard. It, oh, like, it covers a mass amount. Side B. And yeah, side B. The up smash needle. and side B. The the little, like, down B needle got changed. So, and, if yeah. you, and it was only, like, a problem if you hit the tipper. Uh, so, but that's not... You don't have to worry about that. But the up smash side B, um, probably fair. Like, I don't know why people wanted this character in the game. Like, and then no one plays corny. him. He's very corny. It's a, they, people got the characters that they wanted, and no one is playing no, them. Sora, Sora, Banjo, Richter, Simon, uh, this stupid ass character. Right. Yeah, no one is playing the characters right. that they wanted. Because they're not good. But they are hella annoying. And speaking of which, Simon and Richter, both their freaking whips. Whips are annoying. Keeps them out. F tilt, F smash. Uh, the, you know, maybe even the neutral, the rapid jab. The, and they, they keep away with the neutral B with the axe. Down B with the, the holy water, but you can't get in forward air, up air, back air, forward tilt, F smash, like anything to do with their chain. Get out of here. <laughs> There's a zone, a lot of zoning. Down B at ledge, ledge trapping. You're not doing anything about it. You can roll, you can cover that. You want to jump, they can cover that. You want to do together, they can cover that. Down smash, like it's so they can recover with it from way, way, way below. So, unless they're like really off stage, it's over. King K rule. King K rule gets on my nerves. Down smash breaks shield, and it's not as laggy as it should be. And armor. It has armor, down smash, spot dodge, down smash, shield break. But if you d try to punish it, you can't because it has armor, because of his belly. Then he par then he has the little counter. The crown, the little side B, I think. I think that's what it is. Side B, yeah. New to B is a blunderbuss. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Blunderbuss can cuck you off stage. This is just a very wacky character. People ask for this character, but people play with him all the time, which is stupid that they made him like this. But he just has too much armor on everything. He has a lot of armor on stuff that doesn't like doesn't need. Like down smash is the most annoying. Because you just gotta run away. Yeah. And then there's the crown throw and the blunderbuss. They just keep doing it, sucking you in. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well. Isabel, fishing Isabel. rod, fishing Isabel rod. With the fi yes, Isabel's most annoying move is the fishing rod, because they can, they can cheese you off stage, and like, put you through the stage and like stage fighting. Um, and it kills. It's a kill throw. If you do it up, it's a kill throw. 
uh, you know, they threw it over the ledge, so you already used your jump, so you're already dead. Yeah, and then they grab you, and then they throw you off with no jump. It's basically nest, but worse. <laughs> um, yeah, and it extends longer because it's fishing. So the fishing rod by Isabel is pretty much a toxic thing that no player should ever experience and no one should ever play. I lost to an Isabel in New York who was from Texas. Why was he there? Why? Why were you there? <laughs> and the only thing I couldn't get rid of, I couldn't get around was that and the Lloyd Rocket. That's also annoying. Lloyd Rocket and the fishing. Because you can't, you got to destroy it or you got to wait for it to go away and it's in the ground. You can't jump over it because you can signal it or if you run over it, it's going to automatically hit you. And then on top of that, she combos that into the fishing rod, you're dead. <laughs> Isabel's stupid. Incineroar. Incineroar. Down B. Down B. Revenge. Revenge. Killed very early. And side B, the clothesline from Yeah, hell. clothesline kills very early as well. They buffed that move twice. Yes, because guess what? It's a command grab. It kills early. On top of that, you have revenge. You do it. You catch them. It happens in the air and on the ground, so you can't escape. And they're dead. And you're dead. You do it off stage. And you're facing away from the blast zone you just don't press it at all you get the recovery or if you're recovering and they're out there do this close line from hell you win doesn't matter what it is the center roar is stupid um his range but the side b is pretty much his most annoying move because how early it kills how spammable it is and how easily it is to connect um because if you don't hit the close line you do the little you know, back body drop <laughs> but most of the time incineroars are going to lab the timing and you're going to get it. and it's going to do a lot of percent each time they get it so incineroar all right okay dog um not gonna be sabi a down be the poison or patui it's uh, patui patui yes because patui just is thrown out every time and then it hits your shield, they do the down B, break it, uh, so it's the Batui thing. It goes off stage, they can send it anywhere, uh, it can roll, and then just casually hit you. It does a lot of damage, a lot of knockback. Character shouldn't have been in the game, I don't know why people were excited. But, Joker. Joker. Away. Cut. Joker. Joker. <laughs> um, Joker is very fast. One of the best characters in the game. Very fast. Agile. Damage. Combos. Project that. The, dash attack the character is what I call it. Every gun. Joker just keeps doing dash attack. The gun. Everything. Um, besides Arsene, um, I would have to say the best moves are probably back air. Back air and gun are like two of his best moves. Those, those make the character pretty much. Back air and gun. Um, gun. It's not a, it's not it's not considered a projectile, so you can't reflect it. It's a disjoint. In the game, it's considered a disjoint, so you can't reflect so it. Didn't even know that. So his most annoying moves is a gun in the back air. Um, back air, no lag, safe if you space it. It's safe if you don't space it. Doesn't matter. It's a great move. Covers a lot of, you know, off stage. What can you do really? With Arsene, it's the side B and the counter. Counter. Oh, side B does like thirty. Counter does like thirty, and you die. And you right can't cover. You can't you can come back, uh, back air, um, arrow the side B is multi hit. Um, it's going super far and it still has the same effect of, of it, like building up damage, um, like it does before, without our sin. So, Joker, you suck. <laughs> menu. <sighs> menu. Menu. It's the RNG. Menu, menu, menu. RNG, Crit, crits can't really be controlled, but it's the menu, menu. and top decking. If you top deck, you're way worse at this game <laughs> than any Yoshi, any Steve, any person that uses uh, a zoner. If you top deck, you just you're not even looking. You're just hoping for something to happen, and then it does happen, and then you win the game. So if you top deck as a hero, you're bad and you're annoying. <laughs> Banjo, Banjo Kazooie, Kazooie. Uh, 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 side B, yeah, side B, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got five of them. Invincible, Uncount invincible, uncounterable, recovery, strong, kills, 
you have five things that make you annoying, and you ask for this character, and you want to know why no one wants to play you <laughs> because of that. That right there. Why did Sakura? And it's five Wonder Wings per stock. Three stock, you get 15 Wonder Wings, but you probably won't even need to use it because you won't be dying to your last stock. You just keep doing it. I remember when the game came out, or not when the game came out, when the character came out, Wonder Wing, it was like, oh, this is great. I tried to use, I kept getting hit with it online. So then I was like, okay, I'm going to use Shulk. Counter doesn't work. I'm like, this is going to be the scrub killer. <laughs> you guys are the worst besides, you know, the next, the other DLC challenger pack two <laughs> that we're going to get to. Beside B Wonder Wing. Go meter and anything that has to do with uh, burning knuckle because burning knuckle Ooh, kills B. so early B. and it uh, you can go off stage with it. I'm not and I didn't want to put the the um, with the power dunk because you just you gotta like confirm that you can randomly do it. But it's worse when you confirm it because it just it's a lot of knockback. the go meter, you keep it until you die. You keep it until you 100%, die. After 100%, you keep it until you die. It doesn't go away. You can use it how many times you want. I don't get it. I never got it. And then, uh, what the heck is it called? The freaking, um, the stuff. The Buster Wolf. Buster and then, Wolf. And then, the and then Power Geyser. Power Geyser. Buster Wolf, Power Geyser. Um... Like, what the hell? Down Power to Geyser goes way up into the air. It kills you. Confirm from up tilt, which is really hard up to do. Up Power Geyser. Um, there's confirms for the Buster Wolf. Not what people thought it was early, earlier in the game. But forward tilt, Buster or Wolf. Or down tilt, jab, jab into Buster Wolf. Yes. Um, yeah, Terry. And then the uh, side B, the burning knuckle, when you do it off stage, can't recover because um, that's when you do it. Like, gosh, man, I, I really thought Terry was was swag until, you know, he started doing all that stuff and just killing people <laughs> early. And you got to kill him so the go meter can go away. Yeah. Or kill him before it happens, which is not possible. <laughs> Nair. Violet Nair. Nair is the most annoying move. Violet we don't Nair. need to tell you. You've it seen it. It's MP active Leo. the whole time. Active no matter if it's whole time. on the floor, it's, it's very floor. slow. It's not even fast. It's very slow, but but it does a lot of damage. Um, Violet can just do anything. It's like Palutena, but worse because <laughs> DLC. Violet Nair is like what are you gonna do? I mean, all the other moves are pretty slow pretty powerful but nothing compares to Nair because it's just what everybody does. Multi-hitting Nair. I don't know why this game keeps having it. Yeah, it's Min Min. I don't know what the game. I'm sorry. Min Min. Min Min, I'm uh, sorry all um, four Armist players. Um, Min Min is not it. Min Min, Min was, wasn't it. I don't know why uh, people are... I don't know if anybody was excited about Min Min wasn't it. Uh, the, this, campy, very campy. There's no way to play it aggressive. She's made to be able to keep away. Very lame, very annoying, not fun to play. Uh, goes very far. Edge guards. Yeah. How you get in? How are you supposed to get in? You have to jump. Yep. You have to jump. You have one in the ground game. You have to jump. Especially the dragon, because it, ex the, it do it and then extends the fire. Make a watt. Does, it kills like like Ike forward smash uh, like early. Um, and then on top of that, she can reflect, but we're not even concentrating on anything. It's the whatever I don't know what they are. It's the arms, the ram ram, and then the whatever the hell. The dragon. Know. It's just because you what you can't do anything. So forget her. Steve, most annoying, just by doing this. Steve, Steve everything. I don't, there's no one, there's not one move about Steve that hasn't annoyed me. His up smash, side B, gets stuck in the cart, can't do anything. D uh, jab, from what I learned, can just keep keep, just keep hitting you like this. <laughs> then it leads into a forward smash, or a forward air, which spikes. Back air spikes. Why does that do that? It's an axe. Then 
he camps you out to get more materials. Then he builds blocks to snipe, to like cuck your recovery. Uh, diamond, gold, silver. Do they do way too much? The fishing rod, the down air breaks shield. You can anvil, get off of it. It's anvil. an anvil, yeah, and the anvil, up air, uh, up air build, up air build, like up smash, um, up B when you trip someone on the ledge. So everything about Steve, no matter how you play him, everything that he has, like good luck. We've seen so many Steves come out out of nowhere. And people keep saying, ban Steve, ban Steve. Whether it's a joke or not, ban Steve is annoying. Nobody wants to face him. He's maybe light. But you see the frustration Steve has caused. He is annoying no matter what move it is. You pick up Steve, we're not playing you. That's that. Unless it's tournament, no, I'm not playing you. Go ahead. Sephiroth, Sephiroth is most annoying. Sephiroth, you know what it is. Uh, side B and counter. Yes. Counter is a great correct. move. Counter is a great move. Uh, sadly, it only hits on the side of them. Imagine this, right? Oh. Imagine all this, <laughs> every 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 match. Side B, you have to kind of deal with it. Like, you just shield it or you don't. You kind of just have to deal with it as soon as you get by it. Um, that's it. His normals go pretty far because he has, you know, sword. Um, he has one way angel, which makes his attacks uh, like I think 1.5 stronger, 1.3 stronger. It's nice to know now. Uh, his attack stronger, he's faster, and he has armor on his, on his smash attacks <laughs> when he's in one wing angel. Uh, but I would probably say it's in the, to his counter and side B because they're just great neutral tools. Counter is one of the best counters in the game. Uh, side B, great neutral tool. You know, it's basically just checking people to make sure you know they're matching. Oh, the, 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 you could put up to four, I believe, or three, and like a fully charged three. Yeah, but you could up to like six. Yeah, you could pull up to like six if you hit them. Like, if you get lucky. Times. Yeah. Yeah. There are myth Ages. Most like, it's most of the time it's Pyra. Because she hits harder. Uh, F Smash has ridiculous range. Like, kills. you can hit that from half stage. He kills. She has kill confirms. Kill confirms. Um, she kills very early. Side B. Safe. Side B. Um, well, the the thing with the little pin will she go that you um, down B, which is a switch, the switch. The miserable uh, up B, which people which kills as well. It kills, but I'm gonna say the uh, foresight is also annoying. Even foresight. though but, I, oh yeah, that's Mithra. Mithra has foresight. I think that should have been what the um, pairing should be because yeah. you could punish it like better. That's what I think should have been what the parry system should have been. But the only but because she only has it. And you, the only way to activate it is to spot dodge at the right time, like bats within. Like And she takes damage, which bats within does not take damage. But you take damage because it damage. is fair because you I can act way faster than your opponent. And you can literally just foresight and then I'll smash them. And then they can't do anything because they're still in like lag. But definitely Mithra is stupid. Fast, fast as hell. Dole up moves, frame data, confirms, less trapping, can't see the grab. And they're just a perfect mix. They're just like the perfect character. Uh, one hits hard, another is just fast as hell. Less trapping is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's best, probably the best character in the game at this point. Yeah, see how she does with Steve. This is Chris for right here. the Tekken expert here, Kazuya. Um, we already know that Rage Drive is the most annoying move. Uh, command Grab, very damage, uh, very does high 40, damage. 40%. Does 40, 40 damage by the input, but it does like 30 something without it. This is like 32 it's still, without it. It's still a lot. So, um, and then on top of that, he doesn't need Rage Drive to do that. The uh, um, Heaven's Gate. Uh, you can just do down B, which is also another command grab. Um, all and then of course, electric wind god fist is annoying um, because once you get it, you it, and you're able to do the combo, it's over. Um, so that I mean down throw electric wind god fist, nair, oop, oop, while rising two. Well, they don't call it that, but while rising two, god, 
Shy B, and to the, you know, demon god fist. Demon god fist, but it's pretty much just rage drive that gets people agitated. Well, it's it's the electric wind god fist, the electric that gets people really upset, but um, it's nothing compared to the rage drive because it's. I mean, you can run away from it and stop him from having it, but when it hits you. It's over because not everybody can do that freaking combo with the electric so but everybody can do 40 percent high knockback easy and he doesn't die he, uh he's very heavy very heavy because he's very heavy so electric wing office and rage drive you guys asked for this character now you got him. now you hate the character isn't that funny? Sora, Sora. What happened? Sora, you... You can't... He can recover from anywhere. Yeah, Up B, anywhere. side B, side B, side B. Right? Then on top of that, down smash kills you. Intangible. Intangible. Can't do anything about it. It's like K. Rule, but it's with a sword. Then on top of that, he also has the neutral B where he can just keep throwing it out. He's floaty, can't catch him. Um, shoot, F smash. And he hits so hard. He hits. He hits his really up smash hard. is hard. He has down tilt into up smash because he's confirmed for some reason. His forward smash kills early. His smash types are very like he's a very scary character to get hit by. He's good. Uh, up, uh, up air, uh, up B, up air kills early. Up B kills early. Up B is probably the most annoying move. Oh, up B side B side B side B. Yep, that's what that was like the beginner thing. Because up B kills hella early. Like undisputably early, and you can't, you don't even have to get punished for it. Like, if you if you block it, because he's just gonna side B out of the way. Uh, you know, he's hard to kill because he can recover from damn near any position. Um, down air kills up the top, by the way. Nope, <laughs> and just there's nothing you can do. Uh, but you guys asked for it. You guys cried on streams. I've seen the YouTube videos. You guys, you guys cried over this character. Now you hate him. Now you're crying for a different reason. So that's your fault. Congrats. You guys got him. All right. <laughs> Lastly, the me characters as a whole. There's no specific move. Anybody who pulls out meat characters, you're just annoying. You you gotta set you gotta make the character, you gotta set up the rule or the, the, the moves, and on top of that, meat gunner is the worst one. Um, you get these corny ass voices on them, you get these corny ass suits on them, and you're the guy that has to go to the tournament and say, I need to make a meat character every match. You hold up the bracket and you get nowhere. No one knows how to play against meat characters. Why are you doing this? You know what I'm saying? I really wish you guys would not use them. You guys are the worst. The worst of the worst. You just want to waste time. You I'm actually, trying to play. You actually lab the You're trying to play. Like, like, you know, whoever it is, I'm, we're trying to play. And I have to wait for you. I feel like you're icing me because I've been on a hot streak beating everybody. Now, you gotta, now you're picking the outfits. Now you're trying to see, oh, does this look like... No, play the game. All right, play the game. I don't care about your me character. I just want to play the game. Sans from Undertale is not that amusing, <laughs> okay? Pat, playing Mugman and Cuphead is like, ooh, okay, cool. You got them, but they do the same moves. Like, I don't want to play against your Sasuke. I don't want to play against your Guy Fieri. I don't want to play against your, your freaking, what the heck was his name? Uh the president of Nintendo before he retired. Re Reggie, I don't want to play Reggie, against you. Reggie Fisame. Reggie I don't want to play against any of them. Online, offline, in tournament, at your house. No, stop playing me characters. All right? And, and on that note, that is the most annoying moves of every character in Smash Brothers. I'm going to do a Tekken version. Um, soon. Soon. But... Yeah, watch this as a warning to be more swaggy, okay? Stop doing these. 
and stop taking the easy way out. Stop taking shortcuts, okay? Especially you me characters, Yoshi, Steve players, you know, relax, okay? Evo is around the corner, but no sponsors are going to pick you up, all right? Harada's not there, or no, not Harada. <laughs> Sakurai will not be watching you, okay? You are nothing. Remember that. You are nothing. <laughs> okay.